It is a constant conversation here in the state of Utah, how to save the Great Salt Lake. And it's one the world is actually watching as well, but maybe not for the reason you would expect. As Dan Spindle explains in this Great Salt Lake Collaborative Report, global food security may depend on the lake staying healthy. If you buy shrimp or fish at the store, there's a good chance that it was raised with food harvested on the Great Salt Lake. The Great Salt Lake accounts for about, depending on the year, 40 to 45 percent of global supply. So almost half of global supply of Artemia cysts or eggs comes off of Great Salt Lake. Tim Hawks is the vice chair and general counsel for the Great Salt Lake Brine Shrimp Cooperative. Those Artemia are essentially brine shrimp eggs that have proven to be the most valuable fish food for aquaculture globally for nearly 75 years. Those cysts are almost indestructible. So you can boil them, you can freeze them, you can send them to outer space, and still under the right conditions, they're gonna hatch out. Meaning they can be shipped worldwide. There are fewer than 20 Utah companies harvesting Artemia, but they support an estimated 10 million metric tons of seafood produced globally. If we lost the Great Salt Lake or we lost the ability to produce brine shrimp from the Great Salt Lake, it would have significant impact on our ability to feed the world. As the lake has shrunk, it has changed the salt levels. That We concentrate the salts and that has a really, really negative impact on the biology. Bonnie Baxter is a biology professor at Westminster College and director of the Great Salt Lake Institute. She says brine shrimp and other organisms use a lot more energy to survive in saltier water. And then there's other things they can't put their energy into, like reproducing. Which means fewer artemia and eventually fewer brine shrimp. Baxter says this high water year has helped buy the lake some time, but it's still in danger. Maybe it's not five years now, but it's certainly less than 10. Our industry is really tied to a healthy lake. So brine shrimp companies have been watching lake levels closely too especially considering the historic low levels in 2022. Hawk said they feared they were close to losing brine shrimp altogether. We'll lose the ecosystem long before we lose the lake. So people say, well, oh, you have six or eight years before the lake goes away. But it's, it's a much shorter time horizon to where you could lose the brine shrimp population. Hawk says he's happy to see the state taking lake levels so seriously, but said it's going to take a commitment from all Utahns to ensure its permanent safety. And the reality is we, we all need to do our part, and, and it starts with us each individually. Dan Spindle, KSL 5 News. Dan, that is interesting information. Thank you. You can find all of the collaboratives reporting on the Great Salt Lake at ksltv.com or greatsaltlakenews.org.